Hello, my name is Dean Burnett, and here's my three-minute scientific presentation on the subject of my choice. Um, I did choose, originally, to talk about guinea pigs and how they are evolutionarily quite useless, but uh, the guinea pigs I was going to use to show you uh, died this week, so um, it was quite inconvenient, but it does sort of prove my point. Uh, instead, I'd like to talk about uh, the rise of pseudoscience in the media and how this is quite a bad thing. A sort of pseudoscience sounds scientific, but really isn't, and it's important to know the difference. Of course, the champion of pseudoscience in the current media is uh, this woman, Julian McKeith. Um, it's actually uh, not a doctored photo, she looks like that. And it would be wrong of me to insult her for her physical appearance, but again, she, this is how she made her millions, so you know, monkey see, monkey do. Um, she uses scientific terminology to give herself a sense of credibility, whereas this, the things she normally says are quite, uh, quite false and quite wrong, according to most generally accepted science. Um, one example, she recently looked at someone's tongue and said, uh, according to the state of your tongue, your spleen is in bad shape. Uh, this statement makes no sense, because although the spleen and the tongue are technically connected, uh, they are connected in a similar way to you and I currently connected via the internet, in a completely pointless way, which doesn't really affect one or the other either way. Except on a quantum level, but let's not get into that. And she said this is a bad thing, because the spleen is the body's battery. Now, uh, she argues that the spleen is uh, basically one of these, a battery. If we take a battery to represent uh, basically a source of chemical energy to be used when external power sources are unavailable, um, that's completely wrong, because the spleen doesn't do anything like that at all. The spleen is actually a uh, sort of filtering system to remove old blood cells from the body and maybe store new ones. If anything, the spleen is one of these. It's a sieve. Uh, again, very useful, very useful. I'm not arguing that at all, but it's very hard to get these two mixed up. They don't really have any overlapping functions. I've not seen an electric sieve yet. They normally work near water, and that would be kind of pointless. But of course, um, she said this is a bad thing, the shape of the spleen, because you've got to look after your body's battery. You've got to look after it, make sure it's sort of... You know, keep healthy. Um, again, this makes no sense, judging by your general uh, <coughs> attitude towards uh, obese people, because the body does have a battery, it does have a chemical source of energy, and that is fat. So her argument is you've got to look after your body's battery by getting rid of it at all costs, which doesn't hold together logically at all. But of course, people like Julian McKeith, I think she's very, she is very successful, and I ask a lot of people why this is, because at the end of the day, apparently it's because she gets results, so there's something must be something to her uh, wild claims. No, I would argue this is not the case. As a, I'm a <coughs> behavioural neuroscientist myself, and I have a fair bit about associative learning, and I believe that's what's occurring here. So Julian McKeith goes in someone's house and harangues them until they change their behaviour. Now, Pavlov showed that this can happen with dogs. You can basically play a tone whenever food is presented, and eventually they learn that the tone means food. So I think what happens to the obese people who have eating problems is that they get, become negatively conditioned to, to junk food. So basically you have this here, this person always rabbiting on you in your face, and then this happens, they go, uh, oh, okay. Uh, 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 not a very good sign. Then, of course, suddenly uh, uh, she goes away. So then people learn that eating this gets rid of this. And that, I think, is a very effective way of losing weight.